prices are going to keep rising in 2023. Why is the Prime Minister looking down on the middle class, ignoring their pain and their hardship, instead of taking responsibility? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we understand that many Canadians are facing real hardships when it comes to affordability. That's why our government has a compassionate approach and a responsible one. And this is our plan. We doubled the GST tax credit. We added a $500 top-up for renters. And we're offering dental care to Canadian children. And the Conservatives voted against all of those measures. The Honourable Member for Mégant Éclairable. Mr. Speaker, after eight years, what the Conservatives voted against were inflationary policies from this government, which have led to everything in this country costing more, and every family is experiencing more and more hardship. That's the reality. Students have to crowd into tiny apartments because they can't afford the rent. And they have the nerve to say that everything's going fine in Canada. Canadians are paying the price for eight years of this government's inflationary policies. Will the Prime Minister take responsibility once and for all and finally give a little bit of hope to Canadians? The Honourable Minister for Canadian Heritage, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to money, it doesn't grow on trees, and it's not cryptocurrency that can multiply infinitely. If they get elected, they're going to cut for our students, our seniors, our families, our daycares. They're the ones who are going to cut. The Honourable Member for La Prairie. According to Chantal Hébert this morning, the Anglo-Quebec wing of the Liberal government wants nothing more than to... I didn't hear a thing. So I will ask the member to restart so that we can all hear his question, the honourable member. According to Chantal Hébert this morning, the Anglo-Quebec wing of the Liberal government wants to prorogue the House rather than pass Bill C-13 as amended by the opposition because it recognizes, imagine this, the charter of the French language. What horror! All the work of this House should be stopped because a few West Island MPs don't want to protect French. These members don't want to protect French, not in the West Island area, not in Quebec, not in Acadia, not in the rest of Canada. Can the Prime Minister assure us that Bill C-13 won't end up on the 13th Circuit? The Honourable Minister for Official Languages. Mr. Speaker, it's the contrary. We are impatiently looking forward to passing this bill. That's why we're going forward with an ambitious bill that will make a real difference in Canadians' lives. We are the first government to recognize the importance of French throughout the entire country, including Quebec, and I'm looking forward to passing this bill that will make a real difference for all Canadians. The Honourable Member for La Prairie. Well, she'll have to convince her co-workers. In the same column, it was implied that Anglo-Quebec MPs imposed the Charter of the French Language, and they might go so far as to leave the Liberal Party rather than vote for C-13. Life is so hard for English speakers in Montreal. Life in Westmount and Mount Royal is a gulag to hear them talk about it. They already speak way too much French there. There are Francophone and Acadian minority communities that are desperately waiting for C-13, but the Liberals continue to let them down so as to avoid upsetting West Island. Who's going to put those MPs in their place? The Honourable Minister of Heritage. Mr. Speaker, I invite my colleague to deal with his own caucus that has enough troubles. The Bloc Québécois doesn't want anything to do with C-13, and they've stalled the bill from the beginning. They don't support it. They're going to vote against it. I'll tell you one thing. The members for Quebec are going to stand up, defend French in Quebec and throughout the rest of Canada, no matter what the Bloc does. The Honourable Member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Canadians are paying the highest prices in the world for telecommunication services. Rogers and Shaw, if they merge, it'll be even less competition, fewer jobs, and higher prices for people. It's not too late to stop this merger, which will only hurt Canadian families whose budgets are already very tight. Will the minister side with big companies or defend 
ordinary folks by blocking this merger right now. The Honorable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my colleague for his excellent question. We'll always be on the side of Canadians. That's exactly what I said, because the issue is to lower prices in Canada. The best way to do that is through competition. It's through having a fourth strong player in the country. I've already said no to transferring licenses for Shaw Rogers, and I'm going to look at the decision of the federal appeal court in the interests of Canadians. Transcona. Well, Mr. Speaker, if he's ultimately going to say no to the merger, why doesn't he just come out and say it? We already know that Canadians pay among the highest prices for telecom services in the world. And we know that less competition in the market isn't going to lead to lower prices. So the answer is pretty clear. The minister's hinting at it. When is he going to do the right thing, provide some reassurance to Canadians who are already struggling with their household budgets and can't afford not to have a cell phone, and say no to the merger? Yeah. Here, here. The Honourable Minister. Mr. President, with all due respect, I won't take much lessons from colleagues when it comes to fighting for Canadians. We do that every day on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker. Right. Fighting for Canadians. We understand that the best way we can do that, Mr. Speaker, is to make sure that we lower the price of cell phone bills in Canada, making sure that we have more competition, making sure that we have a fourth national player. Mr. Speaker, Canadians watching at home, it's Monday today. They know that we stand on their side and will do everything to protect their rights and making sure that the cell phone bills will come down in Canada. Thank you.